Hi there. I just want to do a talk. And as I do on these talks, I've flowed through different subjects. And I want to talk about... About... Um, the fact that what we're going through right now... Is obviously a transition. And in that transition, people, some people might actually be like, you know, some people, I think, like to hide behind the system. In, in, in most, you see this a lot, that people want to hide behind their government or the system. Um, and because they're, they're, they, 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 prop, they think, they do think, and they say it, oh, well, you know, what are we going to do without the system? Well, and what have we got to replace it? Well, what we have to replace it and what's happening in general at the moment and why this lockdown's taking place and why coronavirus exists and all this craziness is because of the global awakening. The global awakening is the plan. That's the plan. So for anyone that might ask, oh, what's your plan? You don't have, seem to have any plan. Well, the plan is the global awakening. The plan is to build a world. I mean, I don't have any children. So when I say children, I don't mean my children. I don't have any children. Not physically, but when I talk of children, when I say we're doing this for the children, I mean the future generations. But the plan is to build a world worth living in. It's like, you know, in the, there's a film, The Demolition Man which was in the 90s, and at the end of the movie, they don't know what to do, and, and Stil Sylvester Stallone says, well, we'll just, we'll, we'll figure it out. And that's, that's it. You don't need a plan, you, you figure things out yourself. Right? And then that, then that you figuring something out becomes your plan. And, um, and it just escalates. And, um, you know, and everyone on the planet is making some sort of contribution or not, you know, but even if that not as a contribution. And so the idea that someone can't make a contribution, like this is this is the perception of some people. They actually perceive and believe that that they're little and they're a little person and that they can't make a contribution and that that we're just little people and that oh we need the system. And, and it, it isn't true. It's not true. Um, and, you know, you know, we don't, the only thing that we really need is um, ourselves. And to understand that, that, um, that that's all you ever, you ever need. And that's in terms of everything, you know, even relationships, anything you know, is based upon how you feel within you. That your whole reality is based upon how you feel within. Your awareness. And um, this is and this is the reason why, you know, I've got all this hope because of my awareness. You see, if I was in a state of fear, I wouldn't be, I couldn't probably see a way forward. I'd probably be scared if I had a different type of awareness. And that's the only thing that's changed with me since the awakening at the age of 24, I'm 32 now, but the only thing that's changed is the awareness. <clears throat> the me before might have been quite scared of this lockdown and what's going on. And that's, and that's the thing, but, you know, the way things are going right now with the world is we are going forward and it's everybody's responsibility to make that contribution. Now, that contribution might be like what I do every day, which is pretty much just try and deliver information as best I can I know that I've had the spiritual awakening to do that you know and I'm making my contribution as best I can and I do that by the internet I and by trying to share my knowledge and so that other people can can then use that knowledge to awaken themselves and we can all do this we can all Awaken together as what's happening with many people and that's how you make your contribution You know the contribution has to be going forward in this global awakening 
but there, but you like yeah it's like like I say it's um you know many people don't actually believe that they can make a contribution that's the thing you know um but everything that we are doing every single one of us on this planet is making some sort of contribution now, it might be very small but it's still but it, but together as a whole it makes all the difference um and so when people say things like you know oh you don't have a plan well yes there's a plan you know the plan is the global awakening you know if you're just some school teacher who's I mean, everything comes from the top, and school teachers, and um, you know, university university lecturers, um, everything comes from the top. And I'm not, sh I'm you know, not everyone's got the bad bad intentions, but a school teacher at this moment in time is delivering information of which, when you go to school and you get the degree, for example. When you repeat enough information, you get the prize, and that's what the the education system is about. <laughs> you know, that's what the education system is. And if you're a school teacher taking part in that before, then you're not making a very a very good contribution in terms of that child's growth, because then you're not. You know, the, the way that the society has been in the past was about building intelligence, but not wisdom. And that has been the problem in the past, you know, building intelligence, getting to repeat, which is a very low level of intel, very low level of intelligence. But having a bunch of people who got lots of knowledge on certain things, but they're not wise with that knowledge. Like for example, there's very intelligent people in the system that make bombs, make explosives. It's not very wise to do so, but, and that's the thing. If you're a school teacher and you were taking part of that, you're making a contribution but you're not making a very good contribution. You're making a, a negative contribution. And um, and that's what I'm saying. Every little bit, like the t like what Tesco say, every little bit helps. And it's true. Every little bit that everyone does is making some change on the planet. But again, it's it's that thing where where many people actually don't think that that is going on. A lot. I think I think when when I look at some people I think that some people many people some people actually think that they they can't make unless you're in like government they they perceive it as unless you're in government oh I you can't change anything well yes you can you can change yourself that's how you make the greatest change I learned this through my unexpected spiritual awakening it changed I, this awakening came from inside of me and changed me Therefore, now I've got all this inspiration within. And that's why I'm, I'm wanting to make videos as often as I can. I'm sharing this knowledge because of this inspiration. I know I can make a little contribution, but I've got this, it, this inspiration within. But someone that hasn't got that inspiration within will feel differently. And like I said at the you know, early parts of the video is the only difference between me being inspired, you know, inspired and someone not, is, it, is it, it's just a, a type of awareness, a state of awareness. That's the only difference. That's, that's it. And you can, you can change your awareness right now. You can be someone who is, who doesn't think they can make any change. I've got no power, which is the perception of some people. Or you can think I can make great change. Now in my mind, because I have a certain type of awareness that is an abundant type of awareness. I think that I am incredible. I think that, that I can make great change. And I and so I see everything as opportunity. I see everything as progression, not regression. And that is because of my awareness, like I say. And it's it's and that's where the power is. The power is in your awareness. How you perceive things determines the energy of your awareness and that determines your whole reality. And then that determines whether you're inspired or not. And if you're an inspired person, you're incredibly powerful. An inspired person, a non-inspired person that thinks they don't have any power and they say things like, oh, what? Oh, we don't have a plan, we need the system. You can't, we can't just go away from the system, we need the system. 
they're people that don't believe in themselves because if they believed in themselves they would know the power is incredible and therefore they would think that we can do anything we want but this is what we must change we must change the the awareness of ourselves that's what we must do this is what this is what's actually going on right now what's happened is a big shift in consciousness and it's all to do with the, if you believe in god it's god's plan and it's all meant, all arranged by the, what you call God, whatever you want to call it. And it's all meant, you see. But it's up to us. It can also, it can also, it's, it can be meant if you decide to see it that way. But it can also not be meant if you choose to see it the other way. We can create anything we want. And that's what's happened right now. This is a real test for humanity. And that's why I'm doing these videos and trying to pass this on and my knowledge of my awakening and that the power is within you you can you you know i've learned i've learned through this unexpected spiritual awakening for nine years now that i can do anything and i've realized that i am all of infinity and that i i am god and that i can do anything and and that's it and the only difference is like a, like like this video has been about just awareness and when you have that kind of inspiration inspired awareness super inspired you just feel like you can do anything and this is the way i feel all the time now i just i look around me and i'm like god my my whole reality has changed i go back sometimes i just think about the me before this awakening like 10 age of 10 15 18 20 early 20s till the age of 24 the awakening and what's changed is the awareness like i say and in the right inspired awareness, you can make amazing contributions to this planet, even if it's just small. You could say something to someone in a certain way and they'll think about it, right? As people do, and it stays in the awareness if it's the right words. And you, you're making a little contribution there, but then they'll, if it's the right words, the right awareness that you've put them into, they will then be inspired and then they will share that message on. So that's so, so we so that's why we must at this time of this global awakening, this big change, tr understand that and understand that we're always making some sort of contribution. And it can, and how inspired you are will determine the power of that contribution. So you don't donate by giving money. And that's what people that's another thing people think about they think that you need money they think that everything is to do with money well look at now money doesn't make a difference now does it we're all locked down you can't even look in, in tesco where i live um you can't browse now so money means nothing then it's not contribution is nothing to do with money it's to do with your heart it's to do with what you feel if you get a group of people they're having a get together a mass gathering, as, as Bill Gates would call it. Psychopath. But if you have a group of people having a drink or having a party, one person out of that group could say something so inspire and inspirational that it could change the lives of some of the people in that group. It really can. It really could. And it, You know what I mean? And this is the power that we all have within us. It's amazing. Um, once you awaken to this, to this power, and this is what this unexpected awakening has done for me as the years have went by with it, it showed me that, oh my God, I can be inspired in, in a split second by just choosing to look from a certain angle. But if I look at a negative angle, it can ruin your whole day. And this is why I used to get very depressed before this awakening because I was seeing things from a certain way. And so it's all about tuning in within, changing that awareness to the most inspired state and making the best contribution, contribution that you can at this time as we're moving forward with this global awakening and making that our plan going forward for, for everyone um, concerned with the whole planet. Everything is within you and I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you.